Hello, viewers of My Gambia. How are you today? We are here today with the general manager and part owner of Pakadaji Hotel, Mr. Bunaman Jai. How are you? Can you tell me a little bit about the history of your hotel? Because I believe there was a hotel here before. Rightly so, there was a hotel before uh, this particular one, which was actually um, built sometime in the 70s. And uh, the whole concept here began by my late dad, Mr. Ibrahim Anjai, who was the former proprietor of uh, Bakadaji Hotel. But it all started under a big Dita tree in Latir Kunda, where my dad used to have the best Gambian restaurant. Now, following as many years of his successful business dealing, actually, he actually then acquired this property here on the Batil Harding Highway and uh, continued his restaurant career and then later on developed the restaurant to alongside with some rooms. At that time he started, he had 12 uh, standard rooms and um, five bungalows. This had gone until, of course, in 2018, when we took over the hotel and decided to grass it all down and start it all new. So the project actually with this new Bakadaji started way back in 2018 up to date. And we've just newly opened the hotel on the 15th of February. We had opened our doors to the public and um, yes, here we are. Congratulations. I think Thank you've done you. an amazing job. Thank Everything you. looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you. What do you think makes your, uni your hotel unique? compared to others in the area? Well, to start with, our hotel is the youngest and newest hotel in the Gambia. From design, I thought I would bring in a different flavor. Um, if you look at all the hotels in the Gambia here, it's kind of like a cut and paste. I wanted to come up with something that is different, something that is unique, something that it is very difficult for anybody to beat in the future. And that's why you see this project here. It's taken uh, a better part of three and a half years to build now that we are Open. I have a lot of memories with the contractors, interior designers, and all the workers that were hired to do a great job. And this is the result of their hard work. And of course, a lot of direction and focus has been focused on the detailed finishing of this hotel. And um, obviously, I can be proud here to say after three and a half years that you, this hotel is so far the best in the Gambia in terms of architecture, in terms of location, in terms of landscaping. You can't beat it. The sustainability is also something that you kind of put a lot of effort, emphasis on. Um, could you elaborate on that? We are talking about sustainability in the Gambia here is that um, first sustainability in the sense that one has to be on top of every day, you know, looking at what needs to be fixed, what needs to not to wait, call a preventive maintenance in terms of sustainability. Because to be able to sustain a building, a structure, you need to be on top of your maintenance um, priorities all the time. Um, the other bit about sustainability in this hotel here, we are the first hotel that has what we call an STP plant, which is a sewage treatment plant. What we do is um, all the sewage, we have a, a bank there where we treat all the sewage that the hotel is using. And in return, 70% um, of it we are using to water the garden. So you can see how green the garden is. The returns we have from the sewage, which is now pumped into the garden. I think over the years, the global tourism landscape has changed a lot and Gambia has been no exception to that. So how has your hotel and your business adapted to the changing tourism landscape? We've had a lot of challenges during the COVID period. This has given some of us a lot of diversificational ideas of how do we now ensure that we tap other source markets. I mean, since 1965, since the Gambia has has been known as a tourism destination. We've been very much reliant and dependent on package stores. Uh, this is a trend that has to change. It is a trend that we need to look at other source markets. And thanks God, well, you will say that COVID was a difficult time, but COVID has taken us to another level. We are now looking at corporate clients, we are looking at mice businesses, we are looking at sub-regional businesses, and even domestic tourism as well. Uh, what this does is it gives you a year end of busy period. Um, and Bakadaji would probably be one of the best, uh, the first hotels to try this, that we are certainly going to very much focus on the private market. When I say private market, I mean 
sub regional businesses because of our conference facilities that we have, which is one in the Gambia. That conference facility has been so much designed that it's a breathtaking conference facility with all the equipments that are here. But first and foremost, we want to very much focus on the corporate client. We think this is the future and this is the only way that hotel can also sustain themselves rather than depend a lot on the tourism package doors. Over the years, I'm sure you've faced a few challenges in your career as a general manager. Could you tell us how you overcame those? The journey to where I have been has been long, also quite interesting. Prior to this project here, I was the general manager of the Senegambia Beach Hotel, which is the biggest hotel in terms of capacity, number of rooms, number of employment. I've had very interesting challenges. Sometimes um, I remember people saying, I want to see the general manager. And I would come out and say, yes, here I am. And they said, no, I want to see the general manager. That ex expression shows you that they were expecting somebody of a different color than I am. I, I do not take these things personal. They are part of my experience that I built. I um, made a mark in Senegambia and I've moved on now to my own property, which I hope to do even better than I did during my tenure at the Senegambia Beach Hotel. How long were you there at Senegambia Beach? Uh, 10 or years. But uh, overall, with that company, it was uh, over 20 years. Yeah, because I managed Sunset Beach Hotel and then I moved to Senegambia where I managed Senegambia as well. So in totality, I had spent about 20 odd years with that company. You mentioned earlier that you were going to focus mainly on corporate tourism. Um, but can you describe the ideal guest um, for Bakadaji Hotel and what you have to offer to them? Well, like I said, the ideal guest, we are open to all and sundry. Um, we want to, like I said, personally look into the corporate clientele here. Uh, the corporate clientele can be anybody. Any, the most important thing that I have, we have an atmosphere that is very welcoming at the Bakaraji Hotel. We've groomed the staff to be very welcoming and to take the needs of the clientele here. That matters a lot. You could have a structure that is five star, that has a wow effect, but you know, if you don't have the staff that complement it, then you are nowhere. And this is where our strength is. Our strength lies within our staff. I think overall the global tourism industry is becoming more aware of responsible travel. Um, how do you support local communities and artisans in the overall running of the hotel? So far, what we have done is that we are already supporting the women that are just across the road here. Apparently, you wouldn't know, but they have a vegetable garden there. And um, what we have started supporting them is that we are giving them free water from our sewage treatment plant, which is very economical also for them because um, watching them from the top terrace of Bakadaji, I have noticed that they are pulling from the wells and these wells are constantly collapsing. So now we've put in a bone pipe water from our sewage treatment plant. That's not only to give them free water, but at least to help their vegetation grow as well. That's why we've decided that 1% of our shareholding will go back to the community. Um, it will be shared in such a way that 50%, 50 will go to the staff and the other 0.50% would go to support um, the good work that he started. So there's a lot in mind about giving back to the community. It is, it is very important because um, tourism has to really benefit the, um, the, the local people, the communities. But if it doesn't, then there's no tourism at all. Can you share any exciting plans or developments about your hotel in the future? We want to run and make Bakadaji an exceptional hotel. Um, soon we will be, for example, following the footsteps of my late dad. Um, he was the first Gambian to run an African restaurant and to serve African food. This is one of the things that we intend to do on a daily basis. We would be probably by next month start doing an African buffet daily. In addition to that, also we intend to do business lunches and um, you know uh, corporate clients to source for the corporate client market. Our African menus don't only um, stop at Gambian food alone. No, it's a diversification of African food, including Senegalese, including Nigerian, including Sierra Leonean, and Gambian, of course, which tops the list of it all. Like I said, the focus of this hotel is client-based corporate. That's what the intention is. And um, we hope, inshallah, 
that we should be able to achieve our dream to make Mbakadaji the number one hotel in the, in the country. Um, we're trading as a four star, but we certainly give a five star service. How do you balance the need to attract tourists with the need to preserve the natural beauty and cultural heritage of the Gambia? Um, if you walk through the landscape of Bakadaji here, you would first of all realize that each of the blocks, we've got about 11 blocks, and each of the blocks is named after a tribe in the Gambia here. We have the Mandinka block, we have the Sarahule block, we have the Fuller block. So all these 11 blocks are named after tribes. If you look at the composition of our rooms also, we are bringing Africa to Bakadaji. Um, you may agree with me that um, some of these hotels you visit are so Western that some of us are confused when we go there whether are we still in Europe or are we still in Africa. That is a different ball game in Bakadaji. Once you enter Bakadaji, you know that you are in Africa and um, yeah, so that reminds us about the preservation of our culture. By the way, the name Bakadaji um, emanates from one of the villages in Gambia, very close to Basse. Um, this is the village where my dad was born. And he actually started the name Bakadaji. And I'm here to push on that legacy yeah, that he started many, many years ago. That's beautiful. And I think it's so important that we as Africans also take that take back that power to represent ourselves in our own way and in a, an accurate way in terms of culture and art. So I really love that that is implemented here in such an active way. What would you say to somebody visiting the Gambia for the first time? Well, I would say come stay with us at the Bakaraji Hotel. There's no <laughs> other place that you could be other than the Bakaraji Hotel. That is right. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.